guys this is RF Tech so this is my first video after a quite time maybe about two years so if you want to increase the RAM for Android Studio first of all you need to know that it's not just the RAM which can improve the performance of Android Studio because you also need to have enough fast processor so that the RAM and processor can communicate easily and should show the output smoothly so to increase the RAM you're gonna want to go to the settings then in the settings the appearance and behavior tape click on appearance then check the show memory indicator hit apply ok this will show you the total RAM allocated for Android Studio in the bottom right of the screen you can see that I have 1 gig allocated so to change that you need to do some changes in the Android Studio files so let's go so first of all open notepad as administrator then go to the location where you have installed the Android Studio for example I have my Android Studio in my C and program files so I'll head over there uh, click Android Android Studio 1 in this case I have the name Android Studio 1 you may have a different name but it doesn't matter you have to find the files which I'm gonna show you so click here and here you, you get either two file or one file having pretty much identical names if you have 64-bit CPU then there will be two files so open this file with notepad copy all its content to the other notepad you have just created in the first stage paste it here here is the XMX value for Android Studio uh, which represents the RAM size so I'm gonna change it to 2000 and the other line of code uh, I'll put that in the description of the video so just copy and replace it over yours now go to the file save as and go to the location where the file lies and here it is save replace it yes sometimes you cannot replace the file because you need to do some changes in the security so I will go to the security tab then edit and then hit the full control and apply ok this way you will be able to replace the file so do the same changes for the second file named as studio64.exe so this is just the same method just do what you have done for the first file now I will restart the Android Studio to see if the changes worked. Here you can see that the RAM is changed to 2 gigs. Anyways guys, if this video helped you then please like and subscribe to my channel for the future videos. Thank you very much.